Hi, I'm Richard Byrne. In this video, I'm going to show you how your students can write on PDFs and turn them in to you in Google Classroom. Let's go ahead and take a look here. So I'm in my demo Google Classroom and I'm going to add in a new assignment for my students. Now I'm going to add in a PDF that I have that has some more math problems in it. And I'll say to my students, please complete the math problems. Now, I'm going to add in a PDF that I've previously uploaded to Google Drive. You could also do a direct upload using the file option. But in this case, I'm going to use Google Drive where I have the PDF that I want my students to use. So there's some more math problems. Let's insert that one. And I'll make a copy for each student. Of course, we can give it a due date, make it due tomorrow at midnight. And let's assign this one. So now I've assigned it to my students. And let's take a look at how my students will see this in Google Classroom. So my student's going to log into his Google Classroom here. And he'll see the assignment as soon as he logs in. And we're going to use a tool called Lumen PDF, which you'll see in just a moment here. So there's my more math problems assignment for my student. He sees it here, clicks on it, and he's going to open it with Lumen PDF. And I have a link for Lumen PDF in the description of this video. Let's make sure I've allowed cookies here. So my student's going to connect it to Google Drive if he hasn't already done so. And he'll see he's got this more math problems and he can now go in here and you know, use any color he wants and do his math assignment. 112 plus 79. Now, obviously, if you're using some kind of touch screen, it's a lot easier than using your mouse like I am right now. But the student would go in and do the math problem. There it is. Then in the upper right hand corner, he's going to sync it to Google Drive, create a copy of it, syncs it up. All right. Now, and again, he can do that as many times as he wants. So he can make multiple copies or he can override the original. Either way will work. And now he can go and say add or create. And in Google Drive, he's going to have this new copy here that he can then turn in. for the grade. So now he's turned that in and I can go and look at it just like I would look at any other assignment. And again, that tool is called Lumen PDF. You'll see it right there. It's available to use in your Chrome web browser. It's Lumen PDF. And what I just did, you can do for free with the free version of Lumen PDF. As always, for more tips and tricks like this, please check out freetechforteachers.com or subscribe to my YouTube channel.